Welcome to the quick start guide to our course. Um, we will be learning how to use this course in social studies class, but I figured most of you would like to just look around a little bit before we get really into it in class. This is um, on what's called Moodle, and I created it because it is easy to use and you guys will be able to use it at home. If you look, there is a left menu, menu bar, toolbar, and a right toolbar. And this little person here is what I wish I looked like. And this is called a Vokey. Some of you know about that. And if you can click on it, it'll talk and it'll tell you what to do. And many times I will change this message so that you will know what your assignment will be. So if you look right here, it says admin user and it says start here. Well, guess what? That's where you should start for your first assignment. But let's look around a little bit. And this is a, another message telling you what your assignment will be, but I'm going to leave that as a surprise for you. This is our messaging center. If you want to send a message, you can click on this, and it will pop up a window. I'm hoping. Pop up a window. There it goes. And it will have the name of all the students, and you can message them. Just click on the name, and voila, you can send them a message. Keep it appropriate, please. I'll know. Okay, you have calendar, which is always handy dandy to have. Okay, let's go over to the right. On the top it has online users, which will tell you who's online. So you can chat maybe with them or message. And up here is called your personal learning plan, and that's only you can see this. And this is your goals that we go over in the beginning of the year to um, help you um, achieve what you want to this year in your coursework and in your studies. Here's your portfolio and there's a directory for your portfolio. You'll add links and files here and you'll keep everything we do all year right there. Okay, here's your blog menu. You can add a blog whenever you want and everybody in the class will be able to see it so you gotta keep it appropriate and other students will be able to comment if they want. Okay, down here is our progress bar, and I will attach that progress bar to all of our assignments so you can just look at a glance and you'll know what you have to do and what you don't, or what you already did. Just a thing up here in the middle is just all the little housekeeping details. A student forum, you guys can ask each other questions or ask me. A help forum, you can definitely ask me. And the news forum is the same as what's over here. Now this is about me and all my uh, instructions of when you can get a hold of me and how you can get a hold of me. Here's our syllabus, which you do have a hard copy of, and a glossary of terms for the whole course, which is kind of nice and you don't have to go looking around for them. And the learning objectives we use for the course, which are of course state standardized and all that good stuff. Acceptable use policy, which you signed at the beginning of the year, just to remind you. Um, any course documents like the syllabus, the learning objectives, and any other things that you might lose or not have or mom or dad might want one, you can always print it out for them. And here's help, links to helpful resources, and I will click on that one. It's hidden. Let's try to find it. Why is it hidden? Uh-oh, it's hidden. Mm. I think it's because I'm hiding as a student. But there's different resources to like the BBC, History.com, uh, QWiki, which we'll use quite a bit, and other resources that'll help you guys out. And this one is to a test we're going to take. It's a little survey, and it gets you to think about how you learn. Now I have a feeling that's going to be hidden too, so we'll stop that. Okay, so we have five topics right now, which we'll have more. This is Chapter 15, and all the sections of it, which are a lot. And we're going to do a lot of work. All you got to do is click on the arrow and it pops it all down for you. And this one is we're going to do an introduction, why study history. And you'll see we have an icebreaker activity, which is a discussion forum and a, or a survey, I guess, or poll and, and a discussion forum talking about the poll. And there's a couple videos. This one's a Matchbox 20 video, which is pretty interesting called Let's See How Far We've Come. And it has a lot of scenes of important historical things. And I think you'll be, this will be a fun activity for us. Of course, there's the why study history, because everybody always asks me, what do we have to study history for? We're not going to use it when we get out of here. And I beg to differ. You will. 
And every unit you will have what's called a journal assignment to reflect back on what you learned and answer some important questions. Okay, so you have topic one, topic two is post-war uncertainty, topic three, a worldwide depression, topic four, fascism rises in Europe, and topic five, aggressors invade nations. And you will have a combination of PowerPoints, audio MP3s of the whole chapter, your glossary, and these are QWiki chap chapter. Um, you go to this and it's a link and it's a website and you click on these links and it'll take you to a qwiki.com site which is a reference and it's pretty cool and I can pull this out and it'll play audio for you of what this is so you can see that that would be helpful so you can hear what's going on let's close that out so this is just a quick start guide and like I said, we will be using class time to learn more about the site. And I hope you have fun with it.